Marcus, this is Liam Aslam, Chief Marcus Analyst at Average Trade. Uh, we come have a look at crude oil and the time frame that we have is a weekly time frame because we wanted to start with a bigger time frame. We wanted to know where our support and resistances are in a bigger time frame and then uh, take things from there. So let's maximize our weekly time frame. We can clearly see that we the price action reached into the level of the resistance which was given in our video analysis last week. And then the price failed uh, to go past this one because obviously we had a piercing of a Bollinger Band at an important level of resistance. This is, you know, five star entry because uh, we have odd enhancer, we have RSI, which was telling us, you know, that the price is moving towards the uh, upper side of the overbought zone. Uh, not completely there, but it, it was there. But the price action, right, certainly was telling us that look, it, it could certainly stall. Uh, now the 20 day moving average if you could see is right here be is between 90 and 60 dollar level so it's still the price is uh, very much extended outside this um, Bollinger band and uh, it, it still needs to kind of uh, come towards its mean pro reversion which is when the price kind of uh, pierces the Bollinger band it comes back to its 20 day moving average. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's go into a daily time frame and see so looking at the daily time frame uh, let's see where the our support and resistances are in in in, uh, in that perspective so clearly we have our first support level at this one which was tested by price right here and then the price bounced back up from that level and then the next level of a support that we are looking at is between 94 to 92 certainly there is a level of a support uh, important level of support between 96 as well uh, the and then uh, we have another level of a support between 86 dollar level well obviously this is very very low on the curve uh, so we're going to look at the support and resistances which are more enough you know more approachable for the price action so by going into more smaller time frame which is our trading time frame 30 minute time frame let's see where we are on the curve uh, and uh, how the price action is panning out within this zone okay so look this is the um, support zone which we are bringing from our daily time frame obviously this was again tweeted a uh, bit uh, the, uh, tweeted and plus it was given in our daily time frame uh, in our um, daily video analysis the price you know bounced uh, it, it took out from this one and then it retested it this is what I was talking I always talk about that you don't want it to kind of take entry stop trades because they are kind of uh, very risky trades because you never know like uh, if the trade is going to work but the retest is always the best kind of a trade in this situation price you know got out of this zone retested it once and then look there's a sharp move up so it, similarly in this one we're going to wait for the price to come back to this level of a support because there's a lot of uh, buying pressure sitting here by just looking at the price action we can clearly see and then look for the price to go back up to continuous trends because the trend in this one is obviously up because if you draw a trend line from here and then looking from the bigger time frame it clearly tells us that it is going to us up uh, the RSI is moving towards the oversold territory but we wanted to see the RSI deep into this level of maybe you know th below 30 for sure but between uh, 20 and 30 is definitely a better level of RSI to give us a good reading on that and then we wanted to see a very sharp kind of a piercing on the Bollinger Band so for the time being there is no trade it, it's just sitting between the zones we'll wait for the price to come between uh, at this level of a support or certainly let the price go out of this level of uh, resistance and then further look, look further targets up from there onwards. So, okay, guys, we'll just leave our analysis right here. If you guys do have any questions, uh, please feel free to post any comments and we'll come back to you on that. Thank you.